Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for January. I know that we're, this is late. Uh, you know, it is what it is. What do we have for Sagittarius? If you'd like me to keep doing these readings for you, please put a comment down below. As you are probably aware, many of you, that I am changing things up. Um, so if you'd like me to keep doing regular readings for you, please comment below. Um, so yeah, what do we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? For the rest of January, any time in the month of January, um, in the near future, dog barking, advice from a friend. So there may be a friend that is giving you some sort of advice. I got to tell you, this card came out reversed. It may not be good advice. Okay, so I would say that, yeah, there's somebody that might be saying something to you. You consider this person your friend, but, uh, you know, do they even know what they're talking about? Are they talking out, blah, 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 you know. I'm not sure it's good advice, put it that way came out reverse. They got a lot to say. They know what they're talking about. Okay. Um, what I just pictured was that angry woman that, you know, spouting off, you know, uh, screaming and hollering or just, you know, I can picture it. It's like I can see this woman and she's out of control. I suppose it could be a man, but I, I see a woman. I see a woman who's just like, she's full of, full of it, okay? She's full of it and she's loud. She's obnoxious. She's, uh, I mean, that should be enough for you, okay? <laughs> this woman is just like, You know, she doesn't listen. You can't, see, you can't get a word in with this woman. She's a know-it-all. Anyhow, what do we have for Sagittarius? Oh, we got two. They're both upright. Elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. So you're gaining some sort of wisdom. Listen to your own intuition. You have a lot of wisdom in there. This person that is giving you advice is... It's kind of like that dog barking at the door before they even know what's behind the door. You know what I mean? When, you, when somebody pulls up and they knock on the door and the dog goes crazy with, uh, you know, what's behind that door? You know, that kind of dog is going to attack, you know, without even knowing what's behind the door. That's what I got. There's like a woman who's always on the attack. She's, she's like, doesn't even know what's behind the door. Anyhow, there's wisdom here. There's some sort of wisdom. A long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. So, <laughs> And then we have chair filled. Someone new is entering your life. So there is someone new that is entering your life. This doesn't mean that it's a lover. Okay, this could be a new colleague, a new friend. It could be a new pet. I keep talking about the dog. It could be a new pet. Whatever it is. Someone new is entering your life. And now, for some of you, this is this journey may have something to do with the attack, 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 attack. And for some, it, it could be you that's always on the de defense, always ready to attack. You know, sometimes dogs that at attack with, without thinking, they get put down. I mean, I hate to say that. I, I love dogs, okay? I do, but people don't understand. They don't understand why the dog is acting the way that the dog is acting and that something bad happens, you know. So anyhow, if you have been attacking without knowing what's going on on the outside or what's going on on the inside or what's going on, 
maybe it's time to step back, you know. Um, but anyhow, what do we have for Sagittarius? Someone new is entering your life. Speeding causes accidents. That's a that's a clear message. Rushing, going in a hurry, whether this is in a vehicle or you're running around and you run into something or you're, like I've said before, you're cutting up vegetables, you're going too fast. Speeding in any situation whatsoever causes accidents. Slow down. Slow down. Rushing without knowing what's ahead. Rushing. There's something about rushing. It's like that dog. The minute the dog hears the knock or even hears a footstep, that dog hears a footstep and it's like... Rah, 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 rah. Sorry. You know what I mean. <laughs> Drop the weight. Drop the weight. There's some sort of heavy weight that is holding you down. You need to set yourself free. You need to cut yourself free. There's something heavy here that you need to break free from. Whether it's actual actual weight on your body or it's a burden. It's a, it's, it's a grudge. It's something that is hindering you. Put it that way. You need to, you need to let go of it. Just phew, let it go. Let it go. What do we have for Sagittarius? What do we have for Sagittarius? January, coming up in the very, very near future, okay? Well, I just turned it over. I never do that, ever. We get the moon on the bottom, deception, lies, all is not as it seems. Okay, all is not as it seems. It's interesting because I said the dog barks without even knowing what's on the other side. And you can point the finger at someone else. Yes, I do think there's somebody else here that you're having some sort of opposition with. But I also feel like it's you. Okay, and this right here is all is not as it seems. You have to look deeper. There's some sort of hidden forces here. And there's a path that leads. There's an, there's an unknown path ahead, but you, there, you know, and there maybe there's fear, fear of going down that path or fear of being alone or something. And their past is present here. And there's something to do with a mother as well. There could be some childhood wounds or some mother issues here, an absent mother that may cause you to always be on the defensive or something like that. Or issues with the mother, issues with, you know, maybe there's something to do with that. There could be codependencies or addictions here as well that is clouding somebody's thoughts. Three of swords and the five of cups. Whew, reverse. This is heavy. And that's why this drop the weight is here. Somebody may be self-medicating. They may be eating too much or drinking too much to just mask some sort of pain or something or protect themselves. Sometimes we hold on to dead weight, whether it's physical weight, to keep other people away from us, you know. But anyhow, it's a self-protection tactic, whether it's actual physical weight or it's something from the past. You know, we hold on to that grief and this is grief. This is definitely grief here. You know, we're just going to wallow in that grief and keeps everybody else away. Anyhow, there's definitely some sort of grief here. Um, three of Swords, painful separation, focusing, been hurt, been hurt really, 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 really bad, been stabbed, betrayed. Um, there's been a loss. Um, maybe there's been a period of prolonged grief. Um, Seven of Cups, reverse, seeing very clearly there is another option here. This is becoming clear of a choice, making another choice, uh, focusing on the future now. I think that you have been hurt, you've been betrayed, there's been some sort of situation here where, you know, you've experienced a significant loss or heartache, you know, there's a separation. Anyhow, the choice is clear, the choice is very clear. There is another option here. 
four of wands queen of cups reverse there's some sort of disillusionment somebody's been living in some sort of state of illusion or there still could be this is sad heartbroken there is heartbreak here and there's mother issues here lack of nurturing lack of tender loving care lack of self-love even the lovers is an unexpected choice it's a contract it has to do with a union a partnership there's been some sort of grievance deep deep heartache poor choices made a lot of poor choices a lot of poor decisions held on for a long time as well maybe that's the dead weight the baggage you know the emotional baggage or it's weight it's actual weight and this is going overboard going to extremes going too far waiting you know or making poor choices over and over and over again anyhow the four of wands is happiness it's commitment committing committing focusing on the future now so we do have a refocus we do have a refocus we have a new partnership here but the queen of cups reverse is is a sad it's a sad energy uh three of wands world reversed queen of swords whoo and the five of pentacles so focusing on happiness i feel like you're turning your back on a commitment or something that you were committed to that you know didn't end as you had it ended with some sort of abandonment neglect ghosting being left out being outcast i feel like you've made a decision i feel like this is the, the facts are the facts the truth is the truth it is what it is i feel like there's a new focus i think you're some of you are going to be focusing inward you're going to be going within focusing on healing healing yourself you're healing yourself there's a lack of self-love there's a lack of um there's abandonment issues here that go all the way back to a mother or a woman that uh, there's this woman whoever this woman is this and it could be a sibling could be a sister could be a mother-in-law could be a stepmother uh, there's a woman here that has caused a lot of issues put it that way anyhow the world card reverse is incomplete not learning not learning from the past stuck 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 making poor choices not learning there's abandonment issues here. We have somebody here that's been following somebody that has a victim mentality. That, that person has a victim mentality. This person is following them willingly. It's like there's help available. There's refusing to get help. There's refusing to accept help, refusing to acknowledge some sort of truth. There is truth here. There is truth coming out, truth being spoken. This truth may set somebody free. Somebody's been waiting, 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 waiting for some sort of partnership or commitment from an individual. And maybe it's about you committing from where there's no there's no success. There's no it's not happening. The answer is no, put it that way. Um, incomplete, lack of closure, flogging a dead horse, making poor choices. Uh, there's abandonment issues. There's victim mentality here. Somebody's been choosing to ignore the fact that there is some sort of help available or that there is another option. There is another option here. There is. Anyhow, um resisting this is resisting completion i feel like you have been resisting i think that you had made a decision in the past and you committed yourself to something but i feel like we have a new truth we have a new realization and your focus is now inward i think that you need to take care of yourself you need to focus on yourself you need to love yourself some of you may spontaneously get or you have in the past maybe you've done it over and over and over again get yourself into partnerships that are you know They look good on the outside, but it's not all it cracked. It's cracked up to be. It's a. It's, they're false impressions. You know. It's. It's. It's not, and it make, makes you wiser. It's the mistakes that make you wiser. And I think that now you need to go within, and you need to make a firm, solid decision about your partnerships, and what is real and what is fake because you, you can't let illusions and outside appearances because this is illusions it's all about the you know it feels good it feels good 
you need to be logical. You need to make logical decisions. I feel like there's somebody here that has some sort of abandonment issues. They've had a lot of heartache in the past. And now there, it's like it's not... They've been struggling to move forward. Struggling to... Uh, and there's honesty issues. And it's, it's about being honest. It's about being honest with oneself. And you can try to point the finger at somebody else and do your blue in the face, but that won't, that'll never help you. Anyhow, um, there is a woman here that is going within, okay? There's sadness, there's heartbreak, there's loss. Um, the Three of Wands, the future does look bright. There is a partnership here. There is a partnership, a perfect match. But I think that there's a need to... Listen to your intuition. Do not listen to advice from anybody that, you know, sometimes people give advice based on their own pain, based on their own hurt. You know what I mean? They, they may keep you trapped in an old cycle because of their own abandonment issues. You know, there's somebody that is has abandonment issues here. There's a new commitment here. There's a new partnership that could have a very, very bright future. If you can communicate and be open about your feelings, don't close yourself off. Don't close yourself off to the opportunities. There is an opportunity here, put it that way, for some of you. Um, there's a new opportunity here with somebody that is authentic, somebody that is truthful, somebody that um, wants a commitment, okay? And this could be a perfect match for you. But there's emotional baggage here. There is, a, and, and somebody's been holding on to some sort of situation that doesn't, isn't, it's hurting them. It's causing them a lot of pain. And it's like, I'm married to it. I'm married, I'm married to it. You don't have to be. You can you can choose a, a de another destination at any time. You just have to master your emotions. Anyhow, the Three of Wands is a definite decision. There is somebody here that is making a de definite decision. They've been neglected. They've been abandoned. They've been outcast. They've been following somebody you know, in the wrong direction. This person has a victim mentality, but they have a new truth, which is causing them to change their direction. They're ready. It's like their bag's packed. They're ready to go. They're shutting themselves down from a partnership that is not, you know, it's causing them a lot of grief, put it that way. So for some, there could be a divorce. There could be the end of a commitment. There could be unfaithfulness here as well. We definitely have somebody here that may have more than one person. There's a couple different people here. Um, there's a lot of questioning going on. There's somebody that is questioning things. They're questioning behaviors, inappropriate behaviors. Um... <clears throat> Breaking rules. Somebody's breaking rules. They have been. This is probably a, co a change in commitment of some sort. Somebody could be leaving the home, leaving the community, leaving the group. Okay, because this is a departure. Somebody's leaving a situation. They made a poor choice. Um, they followed somebody, though. It all started with this following. It's like they followed this victim who had a victim mentality. mentality, mentality let this person lead them you know this whole time but now we have a realization because this is the truth this is somebody that speaks the truth tells the truth has the truth knows the truth you know is very uh this is making a quick decision as well so this is some sort of uh, thinking about something and making a definite decision. So a definite decision is being made. It has to do with a commitment or a partnership. It definitely does. Somebody, and it's unexpected. This is definitely unexpected. Anyhow, let's get, let's get a love card. What do we have for Sagittarius? There is a new opportunity here, though. There is. The future looks very bright. There's a new partnership with, in which you could be very, very compatible if you can drop the weight of the past and drop any type of victim mentality. Whatever happened made you wiser. Look at it like that, right? And go slow. Do not rush into anything. Don't wear your heart on your sleeve. 
okay? When you rush into things, you're bound to get hurt. What do we have for Sagittarius? Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And maybe this barking woman is, is your mother, I don't know. Or somebody along that line could be a stepmother. Healing family issues, it's time to focus on something else. It's time to refocus your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And... There's a lot of wisdom here. I feel like you've gained a lot of wisdom from loss. A lot. But I feel, I also feel like there's somebody that is making a decision to turn their back on a commitment or a marriage or a partnership that is not compatible with them. But they did it. Maybe it's because of their old beliefs or, their, or you know, their own abandonment issues. Maybe there was fear of being alone or not wanting to be alone. What do we have for Sagittarius? I feel this is like a sad farewell. It is. That's sad. That is farewell. This is somebody that is, you know, I feel like also somebody has been waiting for somebody to come back that abandoned them, wasting their time. Anyhow, unexpected choice in a partnership, in a commitment. Synchronicity. As Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending you at this time? People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from spirit world, from the spirit world, to help you for a specific reason. Now, some of you could, some of you could meet somebody at a get-together, a gathering, a party. This is sudden, okay? All of a sudden, you could meet somebody at a party. You're not even looking for it. Just saying, this, is, this could be, you know, a sudden meetup, the synchronicity, right? Um, people and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. Somebody could be appearing in your life and you have to make a decision. What do we have for Sagittarius? There's an opportunity to heal from a broken heart right here, right now. There is. I know that there is. But there's somebody that you have been following that is holding you back and causing you to make poor choices and it's only hurting you. Watching clouds. You have, this is, <laughs> look at that, it went right over the dog barking. Lie back, rest and relax. This is not relaxing, okay? This is not resting. This is not just letting things happen. It's like, <sighs> that's <how> <sighs> I can do it. Watching clouds is not being at peace. You need to find peace and release. Okay, find peace and release. Don't fight. Don't fight it. Don't fight change. This is literally fighting change. Okay, this is being on the defensive. Okay, you need to lie back, rest and relax. Go within. There's something you need to heal from. Do not attack. <laughs> and I like Sagittarius. I, I do. I never, I don't have anything bad to say. Nothing. Nothing. Anyhow, um, someone new. Just relax. Some, no rush. Don't force. Don't attack. You give it a chance, basically. It's like that dog attacking the door without even knowing. There's an opportunity here for a partnership that could help you to heal. Go slow. Allow. Don't attack. If you are in a partnership now, and you've been waiting for the moment. If you've been feeling neglected, outcast, it's not working out. This could be the moment of separation. Just saying. Anyhow. Focus. 
and this is a refocus as well. So there's a new focus here. Refocus, refocus. It's time to focus. And I think you are going to be refocusing. Look at that leopard. You're strong. You're so strong. This journey that you have been on of heartbreak and making poor choices and not having victory and experiencing loss and, and choosing the wrong partners and fighting for it has made you wiser in the end. What do we have for Sagittarius? We do have a new focus. I think a lot of you are going to be going within. It's time to take care of yourself. You need to nurture yourself. Go within. Take care of yourself. Don't give your love to just anybody. But give chances. Oh. What do we have for Sagittarius? Some of you are going to meet somebody, you know, I feel if you're single if you're or whatever, you know, you do whatever you want. There's somebody that could meet somebody spontaneously at some sort of get-together, gathering, party, celebration. Um, I also feel like there's somebody from afar that it sees that you're hurting, that sees your pain. I don't know who this is. First light. Apparently we're getting one of these. Another one. Beginning a new cycle. So you are about to begin a new cycle. The future does look bright. Okay? It does. But I feel like this is a time of, I gotta say, retreat for you. Good luck. 